think it's a multiple of things in this community. It's uh, we service a lot of community at large, so it's not only this community. Like we we have bottles all the way from Fort McMurray, from Smith, from Boyle, <laughs> and every one of them we ask. And in the, we have a I have a very dedicated dedicated staff. Now what I do is I grab. Uh, two two liter pet and I asked them would you like to give this to the kids and then they asked those kids Stolly Children's Hops Hospital then they will see the sign and then oh go ahead don't matter perfect then personally I can count on my hands the notes notes don't count we ask them whatever donations they can give and they give generously so it, indirectly it's part of the other community that's mm -hmm. helping us too here mm -hmm. uh, another factor the town has created a more bottles for us. They have a three bag limit in their town and they really enforce it. Uh, a garbage milk, limit? Yeah, milk takes a lot of room. We have a one stop shopping here mm -hmm. where they bring their recycles and they bring their milk. Uh, we have quite a few customers now. Here's our milk without yeah. even us asking. The other ways that the program help us to connect with the community is that the community is being aware about the Children's Tolerary Hospital. Mm -hmm. And the community is uh, rallying behind us to, to raise this fund. There's even one customer in particular that he keeps on asking, why do you guys never change the sign? Why it's still the same the same month? I would just like to say thank you to my community and most especially to all the staff that rallied behind us all, all throughout the years. This is actually the second year and we wanted to thank everybody who's involved, uh, every people who donated and of course, the Stollery Children's Hospital, and keep it up, guys.